Hello again, it's Lock Noob, and here we have a very, very green kryptonite U lock uh, with a warning remove lock before operating vehicle, which is actually probably pretty good advice. Um, you don't want to stick this on a chain through your bike wheel and then try to drive off. It's got a standard, I think, seven pin tubular lock on it, and it's quite firm to release. Uh, and that's about as far as it opens. It's kind of kind of cool actually, but yeah, very very green. And lent to me by my friend uh, Yukov, who loves this electric lime. Is electric green a thing? Lime green, uh, neon green, neon green, neon green. We'll go with neon green color. Um, now, on a number of my tubular lock videos, people say, "Have you tried to use the tubular lock um, impressioning tools or the bypass tools?" Meaning these and the answer is um I, I thought i'd give it a go this time so we're going to start at the uh, seven millimeter one and if you notice i can't actually get that in so you think okay we'll go up to maybe the 7.5 i've got the 7.5 tool here uh, there he is and and you think oh would that fit no you can see the work by the way it's rocking it's just too wide to fit in and just for completeness, I've got the 7.8, but you can imagine exactly the same results would happen there. It won't even go in there at all. So um, I found that these particular ones are normally pretty good. I don't have any of the Huck ones um, or any other ones at all, really. So these are my only bypass uh, slash impressioning tools. None of them fit. So I suppose that that's um, a bit of a win for Kryptonite. Um, nevertheless, what we'll do is we'll have a go at uh, picking this using using the usual suspects so i've got here we go a goat wrench from sparrows and a broken um peterson gem pick and uh this took a lot of abuse like years of abuse so uh, it's a sad loss but i've actually used it as a a, a slider jiggler and uh and a tubular lock uh, prodder and all sorts so you know never throw away a broken pick that's what I say okie dokie right let's uh, vice this up okay so we're in the vice I'm gonna use the usual suspects we've got a sparrows goats wrench here and a broken Peterson gem pick and uh, yeah this this took a number of years of abuse before it finally broke uh, and even then in its death it is still serving as a uh, slider lock jiggler and a, a pin prodder um, so yeah, never throw away a broken pick. So what I'm going to do is going to probably pick it one position. I think you've got to pick it four times uh, in normal speed, and then we'll try to speed it up to get the open. Um, okay, right. So uh, just make sure that we have got tension, light tension. Go around, nothing on one, two, three, nothing, four, five, it'll click, nothing on six, Little click on seven and we're all the way around um, so got to repeat that process now a few times And yeah, there we go. We have just picked it enough times for this to come apart. Um, I think that probably took about two or three minutes uh, in real time to pick. And it is good, I suppose, that you don't need to uh, use these impressioning tools. Um, so that is actually a bit of a bonus. So it's there to distract uh, you, you know, you can take your time picking this. But yeah, it's not, I guess it's not too bad overall. Um, a fun lock uh, made even more fun by the fact it's bright green. Well, I hope you enjoyed that video. If you did, then I'd appreciate it if you gave it a like, maybe a comment below. I read them all, reply to as many as I can. The rain's just started. Don't know whether you can hear that. And um, of course, if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. It really helps the channel out. And uh, yeah, I really appreciate it. All right, see you next time.